this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Today, we're going to be continuing through Mount Nabal, because the devil told me to! No, no, it was actually just Sephiroth. He told us to go through this area to come to his family reunion. Oh, that's awfully thoughtful of him. Hey, we've got a new enemy here, Sonic Speed. Uh, it's the same guy we met up in the flashback there. He's susceptible to wind. So that's why I'm going to have Cloud attack him, because he has, uh, what is it, Chocomog Elemental on his weapon. He probably would have killed him even without that critical hit. One interesting thing about Vincent, one, one of the reasons why I like him is because he has above average magic stats. I mean, not like Cloud or Eris, but, you know, better than most characters. So, you know, he's pretty good with that. I was saying earlier I didn't like him. What I meant was I didn't like his character development. I mean, as, uh, what is it? Functionally, I, lo I like him plenty. So, let's see. I think we got to go up here. Ah, there we are. A little tricky in these mountains. Trying to figure a way around. Work our way around the backside here. There we go. I see that treasure up there think. Ah, there we go. We get the plus barrette, a weapon for Red 13. And You know, I'm not going to bore you walking all the way back down, so I'll just meet you there. Okay, I made it back down here, so let's cross this not-so-safe bridge. How did they fix this thing, anyway? How do they build these kind of bridges back then, anyway? I mean, what do they do? Throw a rope to the other side? I don't know how they make these things. I mean, if anyone has any knowledge on bridge construction, feel free to let me know. I don't get it. Yeah, let's just... Ah, I missed the last one. Oh, well. Might as well just use her limit breaks. Ah, uh, this is another enemy. Zoo! Apparently he escaped from the zoo. But anyway, it's weak to wind elemental attacks, but apparently I didn't get a chance to use it anyway. Well, there you are. No, the bridge won't collapse on us this time. Seriously, though, if anyone has any knowledge of bridge construction, let me know. I mean, I don't understand how they build those things. Okay, so we got five pipes here to choose from. Kind of reminds me of those pipeways in, uh, what was it? The steamship in Final Fantasy V. I'm not going to take them yet. I want to go down here first. Let's see. There we go. Let's climb down this ladder here. Now, there's a doorway to the left that leads to the reactor, but um, I don't think there's anything useful there. Um, I'd have to double check my notes, but in any case, I'm not going there right now, if I'm ever going to go there. I'm going to drop that ladder down so you can climb, it up, climb up it later. And I don't think I can get to that. No, I need the. Uh, I need to take one of those pipes to get to that treasure chest there. Uh oh, looks like a pretty big guy to the right there. We gotta take care of him. So I'm gonna heal up first and be right back. Okay, I decided just to hop up here to the save point to use a ten to restore my MP because I'm gonna be using a lot of it against this guy. And it's boss time. Let's see who this guy is we're dealing with now. The Materia Keeper. Okay, sounds like a plan. First things first, let's use uh, Big Guard. We really need it against this guy. This guy has some pretty powerful attacks that he can use on us. So, let's we'll start with that. Aqualung Titan is probably our next best move there. We're going to need to be reestablishing Big Guard fairly regularly against this guy. Wow, that barrier goes out fast with haste on. Oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, Tifa's probably gonna need to reestablish Big Guard again, but that's okay. Now one thing about this boss is that you can learn another enemy skill from him. Trying. It's, a, it's the lightning elemental enemy skill that you're gonna be learning. And it hits everyone, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it targeting a single character or anything like that. Okay, 
we're doing okay on healing so far. Eventually I may need to use another, but for now we're doing alright. Cloud's gonna be in charge of keeping our uh, HP and MP up, really, so. Is, oh, yeah, Cloud? No, Cloud isn't taking off damage. Huh. Well, anyway, cure to him, so why not? Cloud really can't do a whole lot without the enemy skills. That's really your best way of dealing damage to this guy. I hope I can learn it before I kill this guy. Anyway, as long as I got some time here, I wanted to go over uh, Vincent's Limit Breaks. They're a little different from everyone else's Limit Breaks, really. The, the thing is, is that he doesn't have a second Limit Break per level like everyone else does, except for Kate Seth. So he has a level 1, 2, 3, 4 Limit Break. He doesn't have the second one of each of those. So the only way he can learn new Limit Breaks is, well, basically by killing enemies. So we're going to be doing that periodically. Killing a lot of enemies with Vincent, that is. <laughs> so yeah, you just gotta... The other thing is that the way his limit breaks work is... Each of them causes him to transform to some kind of mutation or something from the experiments they did on him. Yes! Trying. But anyway, so... Because of those experiments they did on him, he, well, he gained quite a bit of power from them. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's show it off. The boss is almost dead, but I don't think I'll have a better opportunity. It's almost like a summon in a way, the way he disappears like that. And he just goes into like a berserk, and he like doubles his HP or something or other like that. Yeah, Tifa could use a... Uh... Ow! Oh, wait, that we're doing that to him. God, that limit break's not so hot. Not compared to Aqualon. Come on. Ah, not this thing. You could probably kill someone with that. Oh, well. Clim hazard time. Finish him! We already learned the limit break. You may sleep now. Okay, not yet. Now. Come on, how much HP does this guy have? There! Got him! Did no one catch the You May S Sleep Now reference I made to Dark City in the title of the last episode? If you haven't seen Dark City, you owe it to yourself to see that movie. Especially if you like this game, because the plot in that movie is even more confusing than this game. And we get a counter materia, but it's not counter, really. It's counter attack and we're going to be giving that to cloud because combined with cover it's very good actually because cover will allow him to take damage for someone else which will then trigger counter attack and he'll counter attack them so they're a very good combination there counter attack works similarly to cover where it's 20 percent for each level for a chance of counter attacking some physical attack on someone so it's a very useful materia we're going to be using that on him and I have a lot of healing to do, so I'm going to take care of that real quick and be right back. Okay, we're back and well, almost all the way healed up. Uh, part of the reason why I'm not is I took the time to climb all the way back up here so you guys didn't have to put up with that. So let's find some more treasure by going down pike number two first. And let's see what we get. We get a power soul. It's Tifa's double materia what, growth weapon. One of the best ones I think she can get. And now I get to climb all the way back up there, viewers. So I will meet you there. Okay, we're back up here. So let's take pipe number four. I hope you don't mind all this backtracking that I'm just cutting out here. Because well, I think it's kind of pointless to show you that. I mean, if it was a little backtracking, I'd keep it in. But, I mean, this is a lot, really. you got to climb all the way back up there. So, And that's why I took the ladders down instead of uh, the pipes to get a treasure, say, on the way down to the boss fight the first time. Because if you didn't drop down that second or third ladder, whichever one that was, you wouldn't be able to climb all the way back up there. It would be a long trip way back up there. So I sort of created a shortcut that way. Okay, so let's enter this cave here. Hope I can get at least one more treasure here. 
Now this one's very tricky to get. Let's see, go around here. Ha! Let's see, left. There we go. Ha! Got it. We got an elixir for my efforts, but that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time I will continue through Mountain of Bell and figure out where we go to next once we get through here. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.